have no confidence until I was at least uh, four years old when I got this hairstyle. I had this hairstyle for uh, uh, so, did I get any reports so from yes. you? <laughs> so before that I was really shy, I just uh, didn't I, I went to events, I lived in Sweden. So I went to events, I went to my work, I, I, I would talk to my uh, my friends from uh, high school and I talked to my friends at work, but they never did ever talk to anyone I didn't know. So I had to change that. So I, I decided one day to get this hairstyle and start building my own company. So come out with my shell, my shyness. And in that, you, you, um, you have to tell yourself that I, who, who I am, what I can do, what I believe in. So you have to explore yourself. You start reading books, you start talking to people, about the interesting things you're interested in and you start learning things like you do here in school. But most schools don't prepare you for this. Like, who, how, how can I go on a life on journey of not destroying myself and the world? So that's what I've been doing for the latest 20 years. And that's something all people can do. You don't have to be old like me when you start your journey like this. You can be young and you, like Bayer, she started, she's done an amazing journey like this. <laughs> she's been around the world and met so many uh, crazy people and influential people, so everyone can do this. You just have to figure out, how. when I meet someone, how can I make them smile? How can I make them happy? How can I bring something uh, of value to them that they don't have? So there is a relationship. And like Ria says, start with drinking tea and talk to each other and get to know each other and see if there's any story that I can tell them and, and listen to their stories. The most important thing is to listen to people. Uh, so, so few people in our global world today listen to people. So that's the number one thing. Listen, really listen to people. Try to see who are they, where are they going, and see if there is anything there. And when, once you listen to them, you can figure out how to help them with something. What can I give them? What can I do for them? Can I, if you take an internship, figure out, listen to people, see how, try to figure out uh, when you are at an internship, how, how can I be most helpful to this person? It can be anything. Like, <laughs> cleaning the toilet, uh, or doing research online. Find, if they have a problem, go to YouTube, look it up, spend an hour and try to figure out how to solve this problem and then help them solve this problem. And in the, by that way, you get more useful and you repel in yourself, you tell a story to yourself and you find your, your way into life. What am I good at? What, what am I interested in? What can I spend hours of uh, each day without uh, it getting boring. Because when someone gets boring, you don't do, do a good job. So find the, find the things that you, you think are so interesting so they don't get boring. The things you can do for hours without getting tired. And when you find this, you delve in deeper into this and you can develop into the, all kinds of skills and talents. But what, what the world today needs is people who get curious. So this is the main part, get curious about something. We, we have been, to solve our global problems and challenges today. Are you curious today. about this? <laughs> yes, I can talk about this also. So, uh, that's curiosity. And, uh, and if you want to project yourself like I do, I look very different, even in Sweden. There's no one in Sweden that looks like me. And for me, that it's, it can be a gimmick to, to catch attention, but for me, it's so much more than that. Because I can't just look like this and then don't talk to people about what they do. So this is like a very futuristic, sci-fi, alien looking guy. And that means I have to be very well read and very interested in, in sci-fi, science fiction, technology, aliens, fantasy, uh, and everything that this projects. So if, so if you want to do a gimmick to get famous in the world, it can be anything. You don't have to like have the hair, it can be a dress, it can be something you do that is very special. That also has to match, you also have to know a lot about that subject. So read up, watch YouTube videos, learn a skill that matches that giving. And then you can get famous for anything. But you have to have the deeper curiosity and the skill that matches my look. So I have spent thousands of hours reading, listening, exploring everything that is fantasy culture, geek culture, uh, uh, music scene, uh, the movies, TV series, and everything that matches my persona. So, when everyone go, walks up to me and says, "Hey, you look so like someone from Star Wars and Star Trek," I know everything about Star Trek and Star Wars, so I can match their curiosity about uh, their expectation of me knowing a lot about Star Trek and Star Wars or whatever. 
Any questions? No. things this is a haircut from a, 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 a character in a, a TV video game called uh, Tekken and called Hayashi Mishishima and I played a lot of Tekken uh, back in the 1990s so I and a friend of mine just we, we were going to a party and we just seen the movie The Matrix have, you, have anyone of you seen the movie The Matrix only one person. Only one person. Please do. That's a very. It's an action movie, but deep, deep underneath, it's packed filled with philosophy about identity, life, how you are in the digital world, and everything. And inside that, I found a very interesting questions. What is my identity? So mixed with the Tekken character and the Matrix, uh, a friend of mine cut this hair for me, and and I went to look in the mirror. I didn't recognize myself first. And then suddenly I said, wow, this is me. I've been looking for me for 25 <laughs> years. And I, and I suddenly find me. That's why I, then I couldn't, uh, couldn't ever, never go without this hair. So of course, I don't have wear this every day. I wear ball caps some days. But uh, when I go in, when I work and go do lectures and talk and everywhere, then I wear this hairstyle. Because then I project myself as my identity. And it's not for everyone. Everyone can have their thing, how they project themselves in the world, but you have to be aware of your own identity, your role in the world. And when you get hair, clothes, hairstyle, whatever, uh, accessories that matches your personality, that am amplifies and enhances that, and that makes you even more confident. So that, I gain confidence by looking by this. So that's my hack and my trick. I hack myself to gain confidence by looking by this. I try one, but my father said he will kick me out from the house. That's a yeah. good thing. You should get kicked out. Yeah, Live on you yourself. My, 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 my parents hated this. So they, 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 were, they passed away a couple of years ago, but they never, never understood me my whole life. They said, please, please, take it away. Because they were from a different culture and different worldview. So they hated this. But I said, no, this is me. I am strong in this. I am so strong that I, I can stand against my own parents in being me. I have a question. Yeah. Don't we waste our much energy being uh, different from our mainstream concept? Don't you think we can save our energy while being normal and uh, being a follower or being the yeah, of course, you have, you have normal to. rituals? So we waste so much energy and so much we uh, get grudges in ourselves for the resistance which we are facing from outside society. What do you think about it? Yeah, one of the strongest urges is, of course, to fit in with the people around you. So, so I, I like, really don't fit in with many people in Sweden. But at the same time, I go to some clubs and some events in Sweden where people have, have a different hair style. They can have the mohawk or shaved on the side or green hair or black hair. So I fit in with them because we are all different. So I feel belonging to them. We all need to be, feel belong to people around us and we need people around us to include, our, include ourselves in their belongings. We all need to um, attract the friends or followers or a social group we feel belong. And I do that in many, uh, uh, in many areas and with many people, but not my parents, but uh, there's, I'm still their, their child and they love me anyway, even if I don't actually belong with them in the concept and the culture. But, so you don't, you can't just go haywire crazy. You have to have a, a group of people that you can work with and uh, belong to. So the belonging is e even more important than standing out. But if you can stand out in a group that stand out together, that's well, fine. So you have to explore this for yourself. There's no right answer for this, no, no formula that you can follow. But you have to explore, you have to listen to your, your friends. And if your friends don't like you, find new friends. There's billions of people over the world. Somewhere there's a friend of, of you who will support you for all your life. My colleague Bartola, that I found a couple of years ago that uh, connected me to Rihan, he's a friend of mine and we instantly understood each other. And 
now we're friends for life. So find your, find your friends that understands you, that you can belong to. That's even more important than, than <laughs> Uh, standing out because you can't do anything in this world alone we spend a lot of energy on finding our girlfriend and wives spend a little bit of energy on finding friends also it's very important because yeah. those are the real people who you actually talk to sometimes you don't talk to your wives and husbands but you talk to your friends so it's very important to spend energy time focus on finding the right friends because they will help you come out of your cocoons they will help you become the butterfly you're supposed to be. Uh, one more photo there. Yeah. With your camera, it's better. Okay. How about everybody raises hands or something? Hands up. Hands up. <laughs> Without gun. Karachi wala hai, hat Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone.